Well, I'm here with Kate Afmer, and you are the Senior Director of Growth. Kate, what, what exactly is that at, uh, at Bombora? Yeah, so I, um, I'm responsible for growth marketing, which is traditionally called demand gen in the B2B world, as well as overseeing the SDR team, so the sales development team. Um, we paired those two together because they need to work really closely uh, in order for all of the growth marketing efforts to take hold and turn into meetings, which is what the SDR team is responsible for. And so in that role at Bombora, it's especially unique because I'm using Bombora's data, our intent data, for really our two primary use cases. So the first primary use case of intent data is account prioritization for your sales team. So making sure that the sales team knows which accounts they should be prospecting and, and really focusing their energy on each week. And then the other primary use case would be for making sure the marketing efforts are going towards the right accounts and with the right messaging based on what those accounts are researching. So I really get to use the intent data in every aspect of my job at Bombora. Oh, that is awesome. One question, you guys have made a really concerted effort, at least I think, to get involved with a lot of MarTech partners this year. Mm -hmm. I've noticed in some of our client engagements that you guys are now embedded into that. Mm -hmm. The next logical question that clients or prospective clients have is, how do I operationalize intent? Mm -hmm. It seems like there's a lot of people that are wrestling with that. You've been an operator before. What would you suggest as one or two best practices to help operationalize intent from a sales perspective? Yeah, so I think the first thing is what you mentioned. We believe that intent data is most valuable if it's in the systems you're already using. So that's why we're working with so many of those tech partners because, um, for example, if you are having your sales team prioritize the accounts they're working, it's best if that data is in Salesforce because they're in Salesforce every day. If they're working with um, an engagement platform or like a prospecting platform like Outreach.io or SalesLoft or something like that, we want to have the data right in that platform for them so that they can work through their list without leaving and having to go elsewhere for that data. Um, for marketers, having that data be in the marketing automation platform or in Marketo, Eloqua, HubSpot, it should be right there and accessible. And then obviously the big use case of ABM and making sure that you are prospecting the right accounts. And, and ABM can be expensive sometimes. And ABM platforms can be expensive sometimes. Um, so having the confidence that the accounts that you're reaching with those platforms and engaging with those platforms are the right accounts, that's where intent data comes in. And so we're in platforms like Engageo, Triblio, Terminus, making sure that you have that data at your fingertips in the platforms you're already working in. Intent data is most valuable when it's making what you're already doing and what you're, what you're already working on better. Um, so I think that that is that's, I guess, the, the main best practice is put it in the platforms you're already using. Um, in terms of people who are looking to just get started, um, sales prioritization is probably like the easiest, best use case to just get started. Um, and so we recommend pairing it with, you know, pairing it with the use the platforms you're already using, but get started with sales. It's, it's the easiest use case to get started with. It's kind of the most logical one, and it's the one that you're going to see quick wins and quick results right away. Everybody wants those quick wins. Yes, so definitely. and everybody wants to <laughs> to give sales team something to latch onto. So especially if marketing can say, "Hey, sales team, you know, here's intent data. Here's the accounts you should be working. Oh, and by the way, we're going to work them too." With all of our ABM campaigns, there's it really helps with that sales marketing alignment that everyone's after. That's a great point. Um, obviously, you use intent data for demand generation. If there was one other tactic other than intent data that you would use for growth marketing right now, be it lead generation or account-based marketing, what would that tactic be? Well, I think account-based marketing is a no-brainer. I mean, it that's marketing today, that's selling today. Um, the One of the things that I definitely learned in my years as de in demand gen is it, if you generate leads, but you don't have alignment with sales, or they're not leads that sales cares about, nothing happens with them and you're just blowing money. So if you are like account based marketing is just the necessary sort of thing you have to do in order to make sure that the leads that you're giving sales are the leads that they actually want and they actually want to work. Awesome. Excellent. Well, thanks very much, Kate. And congratulations. You're getting married when again? In September? In September. <laughs> Holy cow. So will you have a different last name and uh, starting in September? To be determined. TBD. Right. <laughs> to be determined. Well, we'll look for Kate at Bombora at a minimum. So. Yes. Awesome. Thanks, yep. Kate. Thank you, John. Okay.